We're standing here in Charleston, South Carolina on the Battery, where slavery began. We believe in our roots and where we came from, and we want to just see it continue. Gullah is something that, in my mind, exists before the institution of slavery. When you stand up for what you believe is right, you better be ready because there's going to be all kinds of people stand up. So all that you see is what they want you to see. Why hasn't this story been told before? Because to acknowledge the story is to acknowledge that you and I are dichotomous creatures. We do bad things. And in our history, it's full of bad things. Gullah is something that, in my mind, exists before the institution of slavery, but is really profound as something that rises out of the ashes of the institution of slavery. It's a culture that couldn't be broken, but blossomed under harsh conditions. Because struggle is what makes you strong, and that is the, the strongest culture in the United States. I cry so deep and often at the painful lies my holy city of Charleston continues to tell to this very day that I could fill my tears in a bottle. For more than 40 years the slave master's perspective has totally mastered and colored my Galagichi heritage, O oh God, and chained it all up. The zeal of them are fold in the people, but they have no knowledge of God in them. My people are those that suffer because of the lack of knowledge of their true God. The name of their true God is Yahweh. In shame they do not honor Jesus Christ as our King and the head of our Galagichi people. I said to him, he's got his book out. Oh my God, he's shooting his documentary. He's making the message. and and. I'm following behind you, you're Larry, leading me. Larry. Please don't slow down. Larry. You're our model right now in this place. It's a small thing, but in the beginning, there's a ripple, and then there's a wave. And along with the wave comes a change in our culture. So you're in the beginning. Don't give up. Don't slow down. And they say here in America, when you stand up for what you believe is right, you better be ready because there's going to be all kinds of people stand up beside you. And here we are, baby. We're standing beside you, right? Stand up. We're standing beside you. I speak on the history of the Gullah people. So I go into the Bible and I explain the history. So the only other person that understands this book on a higher level is my godmother. So when we talk about God in this book, that's what the culture is. But no one gets... What we do in here, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. we do, mm -hmm. the outside world has no idea. They don't. They have no understanding. Need me, mm -hmm. oh Lord, don't you leave me? Lead me, oh Lord, don't you leave me? Oh Lord, if you lead me. I'll be able to stand. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm in trouble. Lord, won't you lead me? Lord, I'm in trouble. Lord, won't you lead me? Lord, I'm in trouble. Lord, 
Lord, don't you leave me. Oh Lord, if you leave me, I'll be able to stand. Lord, I had trials and tribulation. Oh Lord, I had my share of ups and downs. Lead me, oh Lord, don't you leave me, oh Lord. As you lead me, I'll be able to stand. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Lord. My God, Mama. The Charleston Slave Auction Market. Today is called the Charleston City Market. But this will always be the Charleston Slave Auction Market, where the story is still kept a secret that the slaves were in fact sold on the front steps of the largest slave auction blocks in America. You gotta see this. Standing here on the corner of Market Street and Meeting Street, the most significant destination site in Charleston, the holy city. This is following the money, following the yellow brick road, following where the gold was sold, the Charleston Slave Auction Market. At the very top of these steps, the largest slave auction market in the city. Still kept a secret. They say that no slave was ever sold here. This is where they came to work. Well, they did work, but this is where they were sold. Right below the name Daughters of Confederates. Yeah, they were sold here. <laughs> yes, we, we, got, we got, you got slaves on, on James Island. As you come across the bridge where they got the huts and everything where the slaves used to live at and everything. Yeah. All that. We have we have we have came through a lot. We have come through a lot, man, a lot. And young boys and still, and, and still going through a lot right now. The passage from that continent to this one, the tribulations they went through, and still go through, and the people who conspired to keep them under the yoke and to have everyone hate them as opposed to the real enemy of the people. In your definition, who 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 is the real enemy? The planter. Why hasn't the story been told? Because you and I as a culture have not been strong enough to hear the real story. And the real story is red and yellow, black, brown and white, women and men from the very beginning have been here and with great personal fortitude, ingenuity and personal sacrifice threw it against the wall and all the odds for what you and I call today our American dream. It's never been a monoculture, and that's the story we tell today. I am Godfrey K. Hill, Gala Jack of Ashleyville. You know, I would definitely like to see black people better represented in Charleston, South Carolina. We tell stories to you when you get here, but it's not the one you're prepared for. So talking about this issue is how we can all come together and be one family again.